Welcome everybody to TNT Spices. Today we're going to make ourselves a meal that used to be popular way back in the day. And it sort of fell out of grace and it's gradually seen its rise coming back with popularity. This dish is meatloaf. Meatloaf, meatloaf, double beatloaf. I hate meatloaf. Now here at TNT Spices we're always doing things a little bit different. We're going to make ourselves a venison meatloaf. Speak for yourself, compadre. I like meatloaf. Now, we're going to add several ingredients to this meatloaf. The first, I'm going to take two eggs. I have one medium to large onion that I had to dice up. I'm going to throw that in. Next, I have three garlic cloves that I've already minced. I have three quarter cup of seasoned breadcrumbs. I have one third cup of milk. I have three tablespoons of our black and blue espresso hot sauce. This will add a very unique, very pleasant, and wonderful flavor to this meatloaf. Our final ingredients that we're going to add to this, I have a teaspoon and a half of our SPG seasoning. Delicious, so delicious. I have a teaspoon and a half of Herbs de Provence. That is a spice blend that you can buy in the store, already pre-made like you would Italian seasoning or any other herbs. Lastly, I have a teaspoon of our Blueberry Black Garlic Espresso Rub. We're going to throw this all in. And we're going to give all this a real good stir with our hands. All right, I finished mixing our ground venison with all of our ingredients. I have a 9 by 5 loaf pan that I lined with some parchment paper. After I lined it, I took our meat mixture, placed it inside here, pressed it in nice and gently to form this nice and evenly. Now I have our oven at 375 degrees. We're going to throw this in our oven for approximately 40 minutes. After the 40 minutes, we're going to bring this back out and we're going to place a glaze on top of this. The glaze for our venison meatloaf is going to be very simple. I have here in this bowl three quarters of a cup of ketchup. Next, I have two and a half tablespoons of brown sugar. I have a quarter teaspoon of our SPG seasoning. I have a half a teaspoon of onion powder. And then I have one teaspoon of garlic powder. And we're going to add that in. And finally, I have a teaspoon and a half of our black and blue espresso hot sauce that we're going to add to this as well. We're going to give this a good stir or whisk. And this is going to be used to go on top of that delicious meatloaf after it has cooked for the 40 minutes. As we're waiting on our meatloaf, we're going to make ourselves some Brussels sprouts. What I have here is a pot with some boiling water. I have some Brussels sprouts that were previously frozen. I put a minimum amount of water in here and we're going to allow this to boil until these Brussels sprouts are tender. Our Brussels sprouts have finished cooking finished boiling till they were tender. I drained them, I split them in half. I've put them on our baking sheet for our toaster oven. Now, we're also going to make a glaze for these Brussels sprouts after they come out the toaster oven. In my bowl, I have two tablespoons of unsalted butter. I have one third of a cup of sherry vinegar. Then I have a quarter cup of pure maple syrup. We're going to combine the two of these 
you give them a little tiny whisk. And once our Brussels sprouts are done cooking in the toaster oven, we're going to use this glaze on our Brussels sprouts. Now I'm going to take these Brussels sprouts, I'm going to place them in our toaster oven. Toaster oven's preheated at 425 degrees. We're going to cook these until these are nicely brown. The glaze that's going to go with our Brussels sprouts, we're going to reduce it down to get it a nice rich consistency. All right, with this reduced down, we'll pour this into our bowl, set this aside until our Brussels sprouts have finished browning. Our meatloaf has been in the oven for 40 minutes. We've now taken it out. We're going to take our ketchup glaze and spread that evenly amongst the top of this meatloaf. Now that we have our glaze evenly spread, we're going to place this back into our oven. We're going to cook this until we've roughly reached an internal temperature of 160 degrees. It'll also allow this glaze to set. Our Brussels sprouts are done cooking in the toaster oven. These took about 20 minutes to brown up. One recommendation is instead of using aluminum foil, I would put parchment paper down in the future. Now we have our maple glaze here. We're gonna simply pour this over top of our Brussels sprouts and just toss it around. Next, I'm gonna take a little bit of kosher salt. Just sprinkle that on the top. Our Brussels sprouts are done. Our meatloaf has finished cooking inside of the oven. We have reached a little bit over 165 degrees internally. We're now going to let this sit and rest at least 10 to 20 minutes before we take it out of the loaf pan. All right, our Brussels sprouts are done. Our meatloaf is done. Let's slice this up and plate this up. Feed me, feed me, feed me, feed me, feed me, feed me. All right, our meal is fully plated. We also baked ourselves some baked potatoes to go with this. We'll add in a little butter and sour cream afterwards. But this is going to be one very flavorful and one delicious meal. And what's also great about meatloaf is the leftovers can always be made into sandwiches later on. Leftovers! We thank you as always for joining us here on TNT Spices. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Leave some comments. We always love to hear from you. In the meantime, and as always to each and every one of you guys, God bless you.